Hey guys and welcome to my first video. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's all about the day to day life of a macaw dad. So meet my gorgeous little green winged macaw, Freya. So in the morning we always start the day by preparing and mixing her formula. One thing I would advise doing is checking the temperature of the formula to avoid crop burn. The head bobbing and squawking is a natural feed and response. Don't worry, it's a sign of excitement. Then we go on to cleaning her cage and then we start preparing her breakfast. I love using these kebab skewers because it gives the bird enrichment while also feeding them so it's a win-win. She is gonna be one happy girl because you love coconut, Danielle. Oops, sorry, Freya. You love coconut, Danielle. Look at her, she's such a beautiful little fire chicken. Such a beautiful little fire chicken. Oh. <laughs> But um, as you could probably tell as well, she needs a bath because we're having some spoon feed in her formula. She's covered in it and she's not a big fan of water. So I've been kind of giving her these light mists and when I'm giving her a cuddle, I've been um, kind of, you know, slowly picking it off with my fingers. But what I want to do is like get her in the shower at some point and give her a big clean because she was such a messy girl. So pretty. She's 14 weeks old at the minute, so she's still a right little baby, but absolute softy as well. Ah. Yeah. Hygiene is incredibly important. I sterilize her bowls before every feeding. I also weigh and track how much food she's eaten in a day. I keep notes of everything. So a lot of you are probably wondering, well, what's the point of this video? And why am I showing the mundane tasks of making them a core food, documenting all that? Well, it's because there's truly so many things that go into keeping one of these amazing animals. The cage that she basically sleeps and eats in, that's about it, is huge. So you gotta think about space. I've also recently just made her a play stand. It's not done yet, I need to put the toys and a few bubbles on there for when she eats. But that's, you know, takes time and a bit of DIY know-how, so. That's a thing you should take into consideration. But also, it's it really all boils down to time. You know, you've got to be willing to sit there and train them. You've got to be willing to just spend time with them. They're very, I don't want to say needy animals, but they are very needy animals. And you've pretty much got to say goodbye to any social life you have and be willing to go all in with them. And Personally, do I really enjoy doing it? I love it, I wouldn't have it any other way, but I don't think they're an animal for everyone. And I, sadly, they're one of the most rehomed animals in the UK. I believe they might be the most rehomed animal, maybe next to dogs. And um, that's quite sad to see because they are majestic and beautiful and caring and intelligent but I really just wanted to show what goes into them so 
Um, I will be documenting a road to free flying because we're going to get a free flying because um, it would be a shame not to. You know, um, that was when I was getting it, that was my big thing was I didn't want to buy from a breeder who clips wings because it's barbaric and it's not something I agree with. Here's the last hand feeding for the night and we're slowly approaching her bedtime. So you can probably tell by the name of my channel that I don't only keep birds, I also keep snakes, spiders, scorpions and everything in between. I upload a lot of that over on my Instagram which is all about my macro photography. I'll be sure to leave a link for that in the description below. I will be making videos on my other animals, but don't worry if you're arachnophobic or you have a fear of snakes, I'll be making a dedicated intro so it'll give you a heads up that you're about to watch a video containing one of those animals. But I would suggest sticking around for them because you'll be surprised how beautiful and how fascinating those animals truly can be. So I would advise sticking around because that's pretty much how I kick my fear of spiders. But that's completely up to you and like I said you'll have a heads up so you won't have any unwanted spiders popping up on your screen. Now that a supper's done it's pretty much time for a nighttime cuddle and to tuck her into bed for the night so if you enjoyed this video guys please hit like, subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Thanks again.